Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2019 video tutorial. I want to do that dome made of bricks in Inventor. So these are all separate and if you want to do an assembly you should use derive and make parts of those solids. So let's have fun with Inventor. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the XZ plane. A circle, diameter might be 200. Finish that sketch. Now let's make an extrude, make it a surface, make it 50 millimeter and turn it into the other direction and confirm. Let's use a patch, select the edge and use tangent condition and make the weight so we got the dome maybe 0 0.9 and ok, that's a nice dome. Let's hide that extrusion. I want to trim this one, I will therefore need another plane. So let's open this a little bit up, go for a plane and I want to use the y-axis and the xy plane as reference and I will go for minus 18 degrees. Now I could trim that surface. First I want to use the xy plane and remove this side. Apply, then I want to use that tool and remove this is hard to see. Where's my work plane? That's minus 18 degrees, that's okay. And seems I've got the wrong one. So I wanted this cutting tool, the XY plane, this one. And I wanted to move this side and OK. Now it's OK. Then go for another trim. That's the cutting tool. And I want to move this side. OK. Hide that work plane. Make a sketch on the XY plane. Project that edge into your sketch, this one, and finish that sketch. Now let's put 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 a uh, working point on that one right here. Then go for a rectangular pattern. I want to pattern that point, and the direction would be the curve. Go for curve length. Make it, make it six instances. Nice. Now another sketch on the XY plane. Okay, I need those elements projected into my sketch. Not necessarily that working points, but would be a good idea. So let's project that line. And I want those points. This one that one, did I get this one? Hopefully. This one and that one should be, we will see, some lines, one line from here to there, make it for construction, and then some more lines from this point over here another line from that point over there a line from this one here and the line from that one here okay let's trim Now I could make those lines perpendicular to that curve. 
which is not possible in Katia, so I went for planes. I could do with planes here as well. So let's see, I want perpendicularity from this line to that curve. Great. From this line to same curve. Kind of worked, but seems I couldn't snap onto the point. Yes, and this one and that one. So this is still not fully defined. So I should be able to move it. Somehow, not possible. Can I move it here? No. And this one got so there's sort of a problem let's try once more it's really hard to tell I want to snap onto that point and go over here and from this point over there. Let's trim and make those this one to that one perpendicular. It will not get fully defined. Even it it says fully constrained. That's odd. It should change the color. That's crazy. It says fully constrained, so it should be fully constrained but no color change. Nice bug. Finish sketch. Now let's do the revolves. Go for a revolve with a profile. Not this one, but that one. Axis should be this one. Let's go for an angle and make it symmetric 45 degrees. Now let's make that sketch visible once more. Okay. Go for another revolve. Select this one. Axis should be that one. Again an angle. Again symmetric. And okay. Revolve. It always switches to that one, so we have to select it. Okay. Angle, symmetric, okay. And again, it always selects this automatically. So go back to select the profile. This one, axis, that one, angle, symmetric, and okay. Now let's extend those surfaces. So go for extend, maybe 10 millimeter. On this edge. Okay, extend 10. Okay, extend 10. And the last one, 10. Let's go for a thicken. So I want to thicken this surface, 10 millimeters, but the other direction, yes. So in that direction, confirm. And now I can split that body, that solid, into five pieces. So I split it in five solids. Let's hide surface body 2. Okay. Could hide that sketch. And this sketch. And the points. Now go for split. 
I want to split solid. Split tool would be this face, and that would be the body. Apply. Now that face, this body, apply. This face, body, apply. And the last one, this face and body. Okay. Let's hide those. And now I could pattern those bodies into new bodies uh, or I could do a pattern with only five bodies. Anyway, if you want to make parts for assembly, use derive. Let's go for a circular pattern. I want to pattern solids. One two, three, four, five. Rotation axis would be the y-axis. I need 20 instances. And you could join them or make new bodies. I will join them. This takes a while. Sadly, there might be a problem, so you have to go for. No, it takes really that long. And I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.